Hey, Claude Milan here at Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is going to be a video about sitemaps. Now, we did a first video about sitemaps where we showed how to set up a WP Archive sitemap, which is a simple sitemap for your website. And uh, if you look at the header here of this training site, you'll see one of the tabs says Sitemap. If I click on it, it's going to give you a visual reference, in this case seven pages, four posts, of what is in this website. So it, it, it's a way for you to see what kind of content, it's a way for the user that, who comes to your website to see the kind of content you have on the website and how to reference it and how to get to that content uh, it, that they're interested in quickly and more efficiently. So that is what the simple sitemap, it's an HTML sitemap, does. Now there are three other types of sitemaps you should be aware of and that Google would like you to load into your site because uh, people today not only uh, use text, which is what an XML sitemap is good for, but they also use images and they use videos. So you're going to come to your plugins tab here on the left hand sidebar, you're going to click it. And then you're going to click add new. And then let's type in XML sitemap because that's the first one we're going to be looking for. And here we are, XML sitemaps. And I, the, I use this one right here, Google XML sitemaps. Uh, click on install now. Activate the plugin. And there you are, you've got Google XML sitemaps. You're going to want to go into the settings. And uh, it was, you're going to want to uh, it's going to tell you sitemap was last built on November 1st. You want to click sitemap. There it is. Now you're going to want to return, keep a reference on that because you're going to need this URL when you register with your webmaster tools. But we'll get to that shortly. So you've got your first one set up. Okay your XML sitemaps, Google XML sitemaps. But there are a couple of more that you need. So you want to add new and Google says they want an image sitemap for the images that you create. So you're going to want to search the plugins and there's the Google XML sitemap for images. So you're going to want to install that and activate it. And you're going to come down here. So we've got Google XML sitemap for images and Google XML sitemaps. And there's one left. They also like it. And if you put video on your site, they want a video sitemap. And I have video on all my sites. So, oops. Go to your plugin, video sitemap. Google XML sitemap for videos. That's the one I want. I want to install it and activate it. So now we've got three sitemaps here. Actually four, but the, the three we just installed, Google XML sitemaps, sitemap for videos, sitemap for images. So you've got them all set up. Now the next step you really want to take is you want to set them up into the webmaster tools in Google and register them so that uh, you can get data once Google comes in here and, and does a, a uh, a, uh, a sweep of your site, uh, it will give you information about that. So you, what you do is you go to Google Webmaster Tools uh, and you come to your main home page. It's going to look like this. And if you go back to the main home page, let's see what it, if I can get back to it. There's your main home page. You're going to have your websites. You'll select the website that you're setting up your sitemaps for. This is the dashboard for webtrainersite.info. You're going to come down here to sitemaps on the right hand side, lower hand side, and, and click submit sitemap. Now this is your dashboard for sitemaps. You want to submit a sitemap. So it's going to do that. It's going to give you your URL and then it needs an extension. So you come back to your plugins 
and we're going to start with the XML sitemaps page. We're going to go to the settings right here. You see settings, click on it. And we're going to click right here sitemap. It's going to put it in a new tab. It's going to generate a new tab. And there's the sitemap of your website. But you're going to come up here to the URL and you're going to take this extension, sitemap-.xml. You're going to copy it. You're going to come over to Webmaster Tools and you're going to paste it there. And then you're going to submit your sitemap. So now it's going to go out and pick up the sitemap and, and uh, figure out how many URLs it did pretty quick here because we don't have a lot of data. And so you, it's just created a sitemap that when it indexes it, uh, when it goes and, and uh, the bot sweeps your site, it's going to start giving you data about that, what it finds. And that data will tell you a lot of things about your website. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing for our image sitemap. So we want to come back down here, look for images. We want to go to the settings page. We want to generate an image sitemap, and it just did it. So then we want to get the extension for the file. We'll go in here. There's the sitemap-imageMXML. So we're going to copy it. We're going to go over to our webmaster tools, add it to the as an extension and submit the sitemap. So now it's going to create a sitemap for our images right here. And then we want to go back in to our plugins, come back down here, get the videos, do the same, go to the settings page for videos. We want to generate a sitemap for the video. We want to come up here and get the extension, sitemap video XML. Come over to our webmaster tools, submit a sitemap, paste it, submit sitemap. Bingo. So now we have added three sitemaps to our website by going into the plugins and adding them. And then we went the next step. We went into the webmaster tools, created a, added our site to the webmaster tools came over to the dashboard, got onto the lower right hand side, click sitemap, and then we submitted three sitemaps to the webmaster tools, and it's got them all three. And, and then what it will do from that point on is when the bot goes in and sweeps your site, it's going to come back and get the information about what from the sitemaps, and you will use that sitemap information when you come back into your webmaster tool analytics, and it will tell you what the keywords are and all sorts of give you all sorts of data that will give you a best way to understand how to optimize your site and which images uh, are being looked at and uh, which videos are really being looked at and the kind of data that you're going to want to need to figure out who's coming to your site and, and how to optimize your site. So that's it. That's how you do sitemaps for your website. XML sitemap, video sitemap, image sitemap. I hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Plan Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.